Factory. I'm Sam, and I'm joined by a couple of special guests for this segment. We've got um, Bilal from Brainseed Factory and Dieter from Head Up Games, and they're here to give us a look at Typo Man. And we haven't shown any gameplay for this one yet, so I'm really excited to get into this one and show it off. Uh, where would you like to get us started here? Sure. Excuse me? Oh, sorry, it's a little hard to hear up here. I was wondering um, what you'd like to do uh, as far as getting us started here. Tell us a little bit about the game. Uh, okay, uh, Typo Man is a platformer that we've been working quite a while now on it. Um, its central theme is typography, as the name already suggests. And um, here you interact with letters instead of traditional things like weapons or buttons that you press. You solve puzzles by um, crafting words. That's your real power in the game. Yeah, and I think um, we don't want to go too much into detail about the story, but I, I will say I think it's really interesting how that concept works with your story. And I think when people play it and they have a chance to get into the story themselves, it's a really interesting interplay for like how you've uh, established this mechanic. And uh, I think uh, we can jump in and show a little bit yep. of gameplay too, yeah? Sure. Awesome. So the first thing I think will really hit people when they see this game is it's got a really, really distinct aesthetic. Um, the way that letters are, are worked into so many little details and it's a kind of a frightening place that we start off here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how you developed the look of this area and this world? Um, yeah, of course. Um, the, the game uh, has a certain premise um, and everything you see in the design has been handcrafted um, to tell this story. Um, you're um, we get the basically first playing a character where you you yourself are made out of letters, and everything has to do with the story. You're, you are the hero of the story. You have to um, overcome all these traps and monsters. But all you have is, um, is all you can do actually is, is move letters around and craft new words. So what you have to do is examine the situation you're in and then come up with the right word that solves your problem. In this case, you wanted to raise the platform to advance. Yeah, I love how you work the tutorial into the initial gameplay here, where you're really learning how to use these letters to your advantage as you're progressing through. Uh, and even the subtle touches, like the ladders being little like capital H's lined together. Yeah. We didn't want to use traditional means to, um, to tell how to control the letters. I mean, language is, is an essential part of the game obviously, and um, so the text, everything um, you have to do is integrated in the game world. As you have read when we came to the scene, you have to craft new words. So in this situation, a gate is blocking your way, and you have some letters lying around, and if you think about the word that solves your problem here, it's you want to lower the gate, so you craft the word down. So I think it's really interesting with the, the design of the character here. Um, his letters actually spell hero when you look at him really carefully. Exactly. It's, the it's H such a neat design. is the legs, and the E is the upper body, uh, the R is the arm, and the O is the, the head. And if you look carefully, you will see that he's missing a, a second arm. And you are basically on the quest to find this second arm in the game. And when you find it, you will turn into something else. But you're awesome. going to find out in the, in the full game later. There will be lots of surprises, too. Um, the oh, like puzzles that you uh, encounter are deadly. Oh. They can become a trap. Oh, you just get kind of squished into like, goo. <laughs> exactly. So it, again, will block your way. And you have to think about uh, how you can solve it, what's at your disposal. And if you look carefully at the sign, you would have seen that this S is shaking a, a little bit. So you have to let the trap smash the ground. So you have an S now. When you put it in the right spot, it becomes, a str it becomes straps. I think it's so interesting looking at this. I mean, besides the traditional game challenges of designing these puzzles and these obstacles for players to figure out, you had the additional challenge of finding words that would also work for these challenges. Like there, you needed one where it would work in two different directions, and you could change it to something as well. Yeah, I, I believe me, it took a long of time to, uh, a long time to come up with all these puzzles. And here's the first time you encounter uh, an enemy that is also made of words. Um, all the aesthetics of the game and the characters 
has something to do with, with letters and words. In this case, here, um, a hate monster that tries to hunt you down, and it wants to rip your head off. Oh! Oh, that's brutal! Because it hates you so much, obviously. It's a really cool design, though. I love just how monstrous it looks. It's really neat, especially considering what a basic shape it has, really. It's just the sort of a silhouette, but it communicates a, oh, communicates a lot of brutality. Yeah, like I said, you, you don't fight these monsters with traditional means and weapons. Um, in this case, you need to lure him into the crush platform. Oh, this is the way how nice. to overcome monsters. That's really cool. I think, um, yeah, the design with like the, the multiple levels back here too, it's, it's just such a spooky place. And here we have um, a little sort of sensor eye up there as well. A sensor, yeah. It's also, it's also a hint uh, for the story. Um, you're basically playing a hero who is um, a symbol for, for writers who write for truth and freedom um, in all times and spaces uh, and places. And um, especially um, in times of tyranny and oppression, and censor, censoring, uh, censorship is also part of, of tyranny. So um, this is obviously a hint, at, um, with, with many other hints that would tell you more about the story. So can you tell us more about the the machine here that all the letters are coming out of? Yeah, it's, um, it's a puzzle where you again have to think about how to overcome this obviously way too fast uh, crush machine um, so to come up with the right word you need to think about what you want to achieve you want to stop it or slow it down so craft the word slow or we would have been able to craft other words as well that will uh, lead to the same solution uh, to the uh, same result which is stopping the machine yeah i think it's gonna be really interesting since there are multiple solutions to different puzzles that you've got here. Just seeing what words... Oh, that did not yeah, go the hero well. is made of ink, so he dissolves when he water, jumps not into your water. Friend. Good to know. But there is the, a hint. If you combine the letters that are uh, hanging on the ropes, you will see that you have to add something to the word drain by swinging on the ropes until the word drain changes into drain. The rain nice. stops and the water is faint. Oh, that's really cool. And can't go back that way, I can see now, so it's only forward. So how challenging was it finding words that would work for you as the, the puzzle elements that you needed as you're working on the game? Um, well, you have to think uh, around the corner when you come up with puzzles like this. Um, I mean, you have to um, put an obstacle in the way of the hero and then think about how um, you will have him solve this puzzle and think about all the uh, possible solutions that are um, available at this situation. Oh, that looks cool. So can you tell us a bit more about the character that we're seeing over here? This is another character that um, is a friendly character. It's, um, it's something like a guardian angel. Um, and it wants to give you what you are searching for, which is your, oh, your missing arm. arm. Oh. I will say, for, for a little guy with one arm, he's been doing a very good job of swinging around here. But getting his other arm back would be nice. Oh, that looks cool. Whoa. Yeah, this is the first time you encounter this this giant evil demon that controls the world that you're trapped in, and obviously that we'll have cool. to fight him at some point in the game. Hopefully a little later on. That looks a little intimidating. <laughs> so um, can you tell us a bit more about the art style that you have here? Because it's, it's got a really distinctive look, and I think it works really well with the, the really simple typography that you're working with. <coughs> yeah, the art style, we wanted to um, have typography as the central theme, and um, we didn't want to use any um, traditional means because it wouldn't be Typo Man if, it, uh, mm. if you would solve puzzles in another fashion. So um, it's really cool. everything has uh, to do with typography. And, um, and I heard that there was maybe something else that you had to show off. Um, 
an infinity room that we can exactly. check out? Exactly. We added a, a level here because um, we wanted to show it for the first time to the audience. It's not uh, available in the downloadable demo version, so it, uh, um, we were um, working on it to become um, an example for an, a more advanced puzzle. Cool. That sounds yeah. great. Now we're going to hand it over because we're going to show something which we only show behind closed doors so far. I nice. thought it would be a good occasion, uh, but he's better in playing than I am, so I'm actually handing it over to him. Cool. So this is what we call um, the writer's blockade. Um, you're you're um, trapped in the room. The room itself is a trap, basically. Um, and I can see there's some letters scattered around, but they're pretty far out of reach, it looks like, right now. These are the letters that will help you um, basically escape the room that you're trapped in. But if you try to go backward, you will see that you reappear at the uh, oh, other nice. side. And I see that there, there are several sensors, it looks like, here. I can see um, it looks like two of them have the, the red eye open, but the other two, I, I guess they're not active right now. It looks like they, do, they don't have the red to them right now. Some are active, some are not. And oh, wow. When you try to push letters in the area of the sensor, it gotcha. will destroy it. So what you have to do here is overcome your fear and jump into the pit. Cool. And then you will see that it helps you uh, escape, or rather craft the word escape, because this is the word that you are searching for. Ah, uh, I see. So you have to get all the, the letters for escape actually in the same place before you're actually able to get out of here. Yeah. Um, when you see when, when you pull the lever, something happens, and you have to carefully observe what exactly happens. You Gotcha. Um, toggle the sensors, you switch the doors, um, and this is how you need to um, find out how to uh, use this combination to gotcha. um, bring the letters to the, sensor, uh, to the center, because cool. that's where you want to craft the new word. If you Oops. push the letter in oh. the area of the sensor, obviously you cannot. So you, this is um, a bit tricky, a bit brain teasing. Yeah, it seems like it would take a lot of uh, trial and error here to figure out exactly what combination of like steps you have to finish because you want to make sure that okay, the, the right sensors are turned off so I can actually get the letters past them and also making sure that these doors that are coming up and down are out of the way in the right order so you can actually get the letters together. That's right. Um, so it looks like if, if one of the letters is destroyed, it returns to its original spawn point, so you're going to have to like go all the way back to get it again. over, yeah. Cool. But after a while, you will see that um, the, the, le le the lever in the upper level will uh, do something different than the lever in the lower level. And then you have to find out in which combination you need to, to, to toggle them gotcha. so that you're able to move the letter without the sensor having, uh, having it destroyed. So again, if I push it here, it will be destroyed, and then I would have to start over and Gotcha. Yeah, it's, bring it, it seems back. really worthwhile to figure out exactly what the range of these sensors is, because there, it seems like there's certain times where maybe you can sneak by them, but if you're too close, and you just have to kind of get a sense of, of what that range is, that they're actually going to pick you up. Yeah. Oh, and I see now it's off. Nice. So I turned off the sensor now. I'm going to try to go there. It's getting close. I've played it a couple of times, but still, I have to think very much. <laughs> I know it's weird playing games up here too. It's just ignore all of the people. <laughs> it's a different kind of environment. It is. And this, uh, it's going to be coming out later this year, right? It's. Yeah, we're hoping that we are going to release it in uh, three or four months, hopefully. Awesome. It's a, it's a Wii U exclusive title. Um, yeah, and we've... So it looks like you've got all the letters, just a matter of reordering them now. Oh, it's getting close. Nice. It's a Wii U exclusive title, and we're, um, um, we're going to be using the gamepad for, um, and with the gameplay, uh, for example, for rearranging letters. Oh, nice. So that's something and hopefully we can uh, show off another time, too. Yeah. And I like that they, they have that little response so you can see when letters are together with something that might actually activate as a word. Nice. Yeah. Oh, that is very cool. 
so now I guess, you were um, able to escape the blockade. Nice. Well, um, one thing that's worth mentioning here, um, this game is part of our Nindies at Home program. So folks who are watching, if you want to try out this demo, it's going to be there. And uh, if you download the demo, I think the week of E3, we've got it active. There's actually a 15% discount when the game comes out. So I know I'm going to get this one when I get home. I just actually have to fly home so I can be near my Wii U and start downloading all the games. Awesome. But uh, thank you so much for stopping out. Is there anything else you'd like to tell us about this game as we wrap up? Sorry, come again. I don't. It's really noisy here. Oh, no worries. Yeah, we've got a lot going on in the booth here. I'm just wondering if there's anything else you'd like to tell us about the game as we wrap up. Yeah, we've been really happy on the whole development uh, of the game. Uh, in the beginning, the game was really, the word was made out of letters, but it switched in design later on. Um, and now it's, it's really, like, we're looking so much forward to this reveal all the puzzles. I mean, you saw a little bit glimpse of the more sophisticated puzzle, like in the end, in the Infinity Room. But uh, these guys have tons of great ideas, which I'm really looking forward to. Even, even us as the publisher, we know only half of it by now. Uh, so we're really excited to see what these guys will deliver. Yeah, me too. I'm looking forward to seeing more of this, especially as you get closer to release and maybe we can show off a little bit more of the puzzle play. But I can see this getting really complex, especially when we get into like, longer, more concept, uh, complex words and then more kind of like complex puzzles as well. I think it's going to be really interesting. Cool. Well, um, thank you so much, guys, for stopping by and giving Perfect. us a look at this game. And again, this is available on Indies at Home, so if you would like to check it out, just uh, download it on your Wii U. Thanks so much. And um, folks who are watching, please don't go anywhere. In a few moments, we'll be back.